Pavel skirts the rules and uses any loophole and opportunity to take advantage of people. And one way is by possessing people. Um, when you have young children and babies, and you even have adults, um, they can even just say something and they have no idea what's going to happen as a result of it. And it can be used as an excuse to possess that body. So if a young child is being tortured or abused, and they think to themselves, their mind is shattered, and they think to themselves, I don't want to live anymore, then that can be enough to give consent to demons to take over. And if you have a young adult or an adult, and they're going through something awful, and they scream out in their minds, I don't want to live anymore. I, I don't know if I want to live anymore. That can be enough to give the demons full control over their body. And I think that the narcissists many times are caused by a poor young child, baby or toddler, that has been hurt so much that they don't want to live anymore. They just say something unwittingly, and then the devils use this as an opportunity to take over, saying that they have consent. But it's not consent. There's not a contract. Um, obviously, the young child, or even the adult, has no idea what they're getting into. And had they known the consequences of their actions and how they would hurt someone else, they would surely rather have just killed themselves than let their souls be taken into bondage and their bodies taken over by demons. So I think this is one way that narcissists are created. Though, in these instances, it's still planned out before the spirit comes to earth. Um, I think this might have happened with my ex. I did think that his personality was out of the serpent the whole time we were together, but it might have been partly human. I'm not sure if it was human at all, because when we first met, um, we were driving down um, country roads and it was dark, and he wouldn't want to go certain directions because he saw the demons. He saw like barns full of demons and they were coming towards him. And he asked if I believed in that, and I said I didn't really. I did know of demons, but I didn't believe when he said there was giant demons in barns and they were coming after him and making him feel uneasy. So it was right when we met, and it could have been that he was already pledged to the demons. And so when they saw me, and they saw a potential victim, that they came to um, possess the body. And they were coming from every which way. And he still might have had some human soul at that point, I'm not sure. Because the personality was that of a djinn and of a serpent. But I remember when I got the dream catcher, that about that time there was a lot of shadow people in the house. And they appeared to come in from the dream catcher and then go straight to him. And I remember that he was like having a mental breakdown at that time, which I mainly attributed to his bipolar. And he was slamming his head into doors and he was slamming his head into the walls. And he was just freaking out and saying he didn't know if he wanted to live anymore. And uh, so he was being tormented by these demons. And right after he said that, I think that's when they, they got him all the way. I don't think he had much personality left at that point. But when I first met him, he was writing stories. And he was painting figures, so there must have been some human there at that point. Um, it was when we got together that the serpent took over. And if there wasn't a human there sitting in the background, it didn't like what was going on. But uh, when more spirits came into the house, and they were trying to get into his body, I guess it just drove him crazy. And he said, I, I, don't, want, I don't know if I want to live anymore. Slammed his head into the door, and then that was enough. It gave them consent to fully, completely take over his body. And I didn't realize it at the time, because I thought possession was kind of... Um, it wasn't necessarily real to the extent that people say. Um, I didn't believe in the spirit realm t to the level that I do now. I was young. And I thought it was his mental health problem and that he just needed to toughen up. So when I put these things together later in life, it broke my heart. And so even though I was treated badly and I was abused by these demons and devils in horrible ways, you know, they poisoned me. They turned all my friends and family away from me. Um, you know, I, I can't even get into everything that they had done. But I'm talking about the human that was there. I felt really bad because I brought in the dream catcher and it might have been my fault that things got worse and I did not recognize what was going on. Because when these people make contracts with the devils, they're not allowed to tell anyone else about it. And they're also not allowed to get an exorcism. 
So unless you're smart enough and you have experience to know the situation and what's going on, um, then there's nothing you can do. The person themselves is not allowed to get an exorcism. The demons will take over and they will flee from the thought of it. And the human body is not even capable of saying that it's possessed when they enter into these contracts, when the contracts aren't even valid in the first place because it was a young child that was tortured or abused. So basically, now I can see the signs. Now I can understand it. But say that you're 18, you have no idea, you don't even really believe in this stuff. You just thought it was a teenager trying to be cool. Um, and then to realize, 10 years later, oh my gosh, this is what happened. If there was any human soul that could have controlled the body, this is the point at which it went into bondage, and possibly even left the body. That just broke my heart so much.